Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and in the today's tutorial we will talk about uh, how to use Python in MuleSoft. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Python is uh, an high level uh, general purpose programming language, as you as you know. Um, there is uh, also a Jython project uh, that provides implementation of Python in Java. Uh, the current release of Jython uh, 2.7 only supports uh, Python 2. Uh, with MuleSoft we can use uh, the uh, scripting module connector. Okay, let's open a, pro a project. Uh, you, may, you will find uh, this project uh, in my GitHub. Uh, okay, so uh, first uh, let's see the POM uh, XML. Uh, um, there is a setup in order to, to use uh, Python. Uh, as you can see, I uh, import uh, the, this dependency that is the Jiton standalone 2.7.3, that is the, the last version. And I also need to configure uh, the Emule Maven plugin uh, in order to add uh, this uh, uh, shared library. So let's, uh, let's move on uh, uh, Anypoint Studio. Uh, uh, as you can see, I uh, copy and paste uh, this uh, uh, plugin. Uh, uh, this parts uh, uh, configuration uh, in the uh, plugin section uh, of the Mule Maven plugin, and I also uh, had uh, the um, Python Jiton uh, standalone dependency. Okay, uh, I also had uh, the um, the Mule scripting module connector uh, plugin. Uh, you can also find uh, this version uh, also uh, here. Uh, so just type uh, scripting and you can import this uh, scripting module module okay okay uh, let's open the, the first uh, simple uh, uh, python uh, api i just uh, uh, i just uh, add a random uh, URI uh, with the uh, python code so i uh, simply uh, drag and drop this execute and then I simply insert uh, this simple uh, Python code. The, it's a simple code that imports the random module and uh, um, responds uh, back with the, the, a random int uh, between uh, 0 and 100. The, um, the response uh, must be in this uh, variable, in the result variable. That, that is the variable that, that uh, uh, is configured uh, to be in the output of this uh, uh, Python code. Uh, then uh, in the transform message, uh, I simply uh, uh, insert uh, the, the payload. Okay, so let's test uh, this, uh, uh, this simple uh, API. It's already uh, running. Just type uh, localhost 881 uh, random, I think. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, this is the output. So every time uh, I uh, refresh, uh, it gets uh, a new uh, random value between 0 and, uh, and 100. Uh, let's uh, go back uh, to the Python code. I forgot something. The engine uh, is Jiton, so I have to select Jiton uh, instead of uh, Oracle National. Okay. Uh, let's move uh, on the next uh, uh, simple uh, API. Uh, that is the same, uh, but I um, uh, so it's uh, the same that the, rest, um, the the API is on uh, the path uh, random two. Uh, in this uh, example, I simply uh, insert the code not inside the execute, but uh, in a separate file. So with this syntax, uh, I, um, I simply, um, th this is the method I use uh, to, uh, to use uh, a, a file that is in the script uh, random API uh, that is here. So in the resources script uh, random API. Let's open with text editor at the, and it, it, it's the same. So I import the random module, I uh, use the random uh, random int and uh, the, uh, I insert this value in the result variable. This variable is very important but because if I use another variable, I don't get any output. Okay, uh, so let's test also this random two. I simply uh, use random two and I get the same response, okay? Uh, for this, uh, for the last, uh, um, for the last, uh, 
I use uh, a more complex uh, module. For example, uh, I use uh, um, the uh, rec. Uh, um, I use this uh, this new Python file that it is here. Okay, and uh, I use uh, this uh, request uh, uh, request module that is not uh, part of the. Uh, general uh, module of uh, Python, so I have to uh, insert uh, this module uh, in my in my project. In order to do this, uh, I, I I use uh, this uh, uh, lib, okay, and I import uh, all the library I need to use uh, request. Uh, for example, uh, request it's here. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's check uh, how uh, I uh, how I had this uh, library. Okay, I simply open the Python 2.7 directory uh, inside the lib uh, site packages. Uh, I have all the library uh, for my uh, for my uh, script. I need the, the this request, so I simply copy this request and I uh, uh, paste in the uh, workspace uh, uh, project uh, uh, directory. So simply just here okay uh, in the uh, main resources and lib okay so i simply copy and paste here all the uh, all the libraries i need uh, for example if i run with only this request uh, library uh, uh, use uh, also other library so I simply copy and paste all the library it needs to uh, use the, the request um, and uh, at the end uh, I need all this library so uh, in my um, in my project I use all this library uh, then I have also to uh, select run configuration and add this configuration that is uh, uh, the python dot uh, with the path of uh, the uh, the directory where uh, there is uh, all this there are all this uh, uh, library in um, for in my example uh, it's uh, uh, this one so I simply uh, run uh, in, in this way okay so now uh, I can also uh, uh, I can also test uh, this. Uh, uh, the URI, URI is uh, uh, rec. Uh, what this uh, re uh, Python script do uh, is uh, let's uh, text. Uh, it simply uh, uh, invoke this uh, API GitHub uh, um, URL. So if I go here, I simply invoke the rec. Okay. And uh, uh, you can see, I think, okay, you can you can see the the response that is uh, the uh, the JSON of that uh, invocations. Okay, uh, we can also uh, we can also uh, deploy uh, this configuration. Uh, it's sim sim Let's just uh, uh, export, uh, include the project modules and dependency. Okay. I can open my uh, any point uh, configuration. Okay, now we can deploy the application. We can select uh, uh, Cloud Hub 2.0 or Cloud Hub. Uh, it's very important that if we, if we use Cloud Hub 2.0, this, um, this is the value of the Python path. Uh, while if you use uh, Cloud Hub 1.0, this is the, um, the URL we can use uh, for the lib uh, of the Python path. Okay, so we now use the Cloud Hub 2.0. Okay, uh, it, we simply uh, give a name, for example, um, mule sys python. Okay, let's select uh, the file that is here. 
ok upload ok and select uh, the value of the python dot pat i can simply copy and paste uh, cloud up 2.0 ok and this is the value ok and uh, uh, deploy the application Sorry, uh, app name is not correct. I have to set uh, uh, new sys Python. Okay, let's go back. I want to set this value, not app name, but this one. Okay. Let's check uh, if everything is okay. App uh, Muses Python lib, okay. Let's wait uh, for the uh, deploy. Cloud up 2.0 is uh, faster, very faster than 1.0, very fast. Okay, maybe we, we are ready. Okay, this is the URL. Let's check if uh, everything is okay. Perfect. Let's go. That's all for now. Please, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye.